Hey guys, Angel here with the Bullish Bears team. I am making this watch list video for tomorrow, Friday the 11th. And I'm just gonna make a video for you guys just so you can kind of see my thought process behind the stocks that I choose for the watch list and maybe why lately there hasn't seemed like there's a lot of stocks on the watch list. And so I have the S&P futures pulled up and you can see that for the past three days it looks like it has been reversing and it did break down out of a descending triangle it did break down out of angular support but then it has come back up and it's holding those support levels so we'll see where it goes tomorrow it still has this 20 ema that it has to contend with so let's go ahead and pull up a scan for tomorrow and then we will take a look at stocks potential stocks for the watch list we're going to take a look at CPHI, and when I look at that, I mean, it could, you can see that it is a little bit of a pump and dump, and so it is closing above the EMAs. It does have these wicks, though, so it would be like three cents for a resistance, so three cents, so I, that's why I wouldn't put it on there. There's not a big profit potential. We'll take a look at the next one. And the EMAs are pinching and crossing over. So this could be one to look at. We have about, make about like 15-ish cents. And if it breaks through that, then it's around 750. So we'll take a look at the hourly, see what that's doing and ah. Oh, it's not overextended. It is above all the moving averages and it's sort of like bull flagging today. And if I zoom out, it's not like a very clear pattern. So I actually like this one because it's bull flagging on the hourly and it looks like a really big bull pennant on the daily. So I'm going to put this one on here, remind myself that, what is it doing? Uh, like 730-ish is res potential resistance. Put that on the watch list. Bull pennant on daily. Watch for possible resistance around 7.30 and 7.50. All right, so that is going on the watch list for tomorrow. And we're not making a swing trade watch list because it is Friday, so that helps a little bit with the length of the video. So let's take a look at this one. It's a piercing-ish pattern. It is reversing and it's got resistance at this 20 EMA. So you can make about 30-ish cents on it. So let us look at the hourly. And it is riding the nine. It's not overextended. And it's got resistance at that 200 SMA on the hourly. So I am going to put that one on. Let's see. Piercing pattern on, on daily. Watch for possible, let me just, I can't remember what EMA is there, 20, possible 20 EMA resistance on daily and 200 SMA on hourly. All right, so I'm going to put this one on. So we're going to take a look at BSM X and that is a financial company. It looks like it could be a big inverted cup, which is a bearish pattern. So I don't know 
how I feel about it, and that's a kind of a yucky candle, and I'll take a look at the hourly just to see, and I would not put that on because it is hitting the 50 SMA, and it couldn't break it, so I'm not going to put that one on for tomorrow. I'll take a look. And for me, that is too close to the moving average. So, oh, look at that. After hours, it's shot all the way up to 1550. Are they having earnings today? Yes, earnings are today. So I just wouldn't put that on because I have found that they'll shoot up hardcore after hours. And then once the market opens, they tank big time. So that stock is easy to borrow on Thinkorswim if you would like to short it, but I'm not putting that on just because it's way, way too risky in my opinion. So this one, it just barely closed above the 200 or the 20 EMA. So I would not put that on because it's probably going to come back down to test that tomorrow but we can always take a look at the hourly to see. Yeah, and it's right under that 200. So I would not put that on because you could only make about the potential of six cents. So I'm not gonna put that on. Let's see, this one, nope, it hit that 20 EMA and did not break it. So I'm not putting that on. It looks like it might be trading sideways tomorrow. That is too close to the nine, so that doesn't give you enough profit potential, so I would not put that one on. Now well, this one is very interesting. It, I would say that this is an inverse head and shoulders. You have the left shoulder, head, right shoulder, left shoulder, head, right shoulder. And it's got, obviously I've looked at this before, it's got a resistance level of about 530-ish, so that gives you some space so let's take a look at the hourly it's above the moving averages and you can see that's a big cup pattern so i will be putting that on let's see, 530 ish okay move that down make sure that says outer above sometimes think or swim changes that on you and it's really frustrating so we'll see inverse head and shoulders on daily watch watch for possible resistance <laughs> around 5 30. So e n p h that on. Let's take a look at BFR. That one, the moving averages are actually like, look like they're going to be separating a little bit, which can give it a push up with the next level of resistance around 12.33. I don't like that shooting star on the five minute, but let's take a look at the hourly. And it is moving up on the hourly, but it is overextended on RSI. You can see that cup and handle, and then it broke out today. So it could continue upwards, or it's going to come back down and test this nine EMA. No, I'm not going to put that on because when I look at the volume, that's not very much volume. So I'm going to actually not look at either of those. So we'll take a look at BSIG. And I would not put that on because as you can see, it could not hold the breakout of the 50. So that's not going on. Oof. No, I wouldn't put that on either because you can see that it's not breaking above the nine that's gonna be really strong resistance take a look at the next one and i would not put that on because it could not hold that 20. take a look at fate mm. 
It's in a descending triangle. So I don't think that I would put this one on the watch list. I'm actually gonna skip some of these higher priced stocks because we have a few. So I'm gonna see if I can find something a little bit less expensive and Let's see, this is a potential one that I would consider, I believe. Well, I don't know because it did not hold this resistance around 95 cents. So let me take a look at the hourly and see what the hourly says. Hmm. I don't love it, so I'm not going to put it on. Let's see, the moving averages are potentially crossing on this one. I would say resistance is around, eh, that's not a very huge level of profit, so I don't know that I would put that on. Let me just take a look at the hourly and yeah, no. No, because you can see that that is gonna hit that 200 SMA and it has the potential not to break it. So take a look at this one. No, this is way too close to the moving averages. Oh, this one could be interesting, except that it hasn't been able to break this. Uh, 50 SMA, so I'm not going to put that one on either. And, I mean, it's holding its highs on the day. We'll see. 902 to 944. Let's take a look at the hourly. Let's see. So I am going to put this one on because it is reversing, holding its highs. Okay. Stock reversing on daily, holding its highs. Watch for 20 EMA resistance on daily. Put that one on. C N C E index. All right, let's take a look at the next one. I would not put that on because it's right in between those moving averages be just way too messy and sideways for you guys. I'll take a look at the next one. Hey, no. That's a whole lot of nope right there. ARWR. Huh. So this one is a double bottom-ish pattern. Some resistance is going to be around 1475 and then this 1581. Let's take a look at the hourly, see how that's trading. And it is above all the moving averages. It is a little overextended on the RSI, but it is moving up. Let's remind myself what this is 1475. Double bottom on daily. Watch for potential resistance around 1475. 1475. All right. So that's going on the watch list for tomorrow. ARWR. Oh, no way. Nope, not putting that on. 
And well, I've apparently looked at this quite a bit. And no, I would not put this one on. I'll clear my drawings because you can see that it is right between those two moving averages. It tried to break it, it could not, so I'm not putting that one on. Not putting that one on, it's too close to the 20. That has no volume, so I'm not putting that one on. Um, let's see how close this is. Nope, too close to the 20, so I'm not putting that one on either. Could not break the 50, so I'm not putting that one on either. Oh, this one is interesting. Let's see. So it looks like those 9 and 20 are pinching. You could say it's kind of a ascending triangle. See that breaks out. It's got up to the 625. Let's take a look at this hourly chart. Well, that really took off there at the end of the day. Yeah, I'll put it on. Oops. Let's see. Make sure it's the right price. Oh, it's a pump and dump, so be aware. Let's see. Oh, see, it changed that to below. Why does it do that to me? History of... Pumping watch for continuation with possible resistance around, what did I say it was? Oh man, 625. <laughs> 625. Okay, take a look at this one. I would not put that on because it's right there at that 50 SMA, so if it can't break it, then it's coming back down, which it is easy to borrow, so you could potentially do that. See when earnings are. Earnings are next week. So I'm just not comfortable with putting that on. And mm, is reversing. It could go up to 1440. Let's take a look at the hourly. No. So when I look at the hourly, I would not put that on because it's got that 50 SMA right there as strong resistance. Let's take a look at this one. And nope, I wouldn't put that on because of the moving averages. So let me just put that on. Oh, it's CVS I bet I put on. Okay, so this one I, ah, oh. this one I had on our swing trade watch list last week when it broke to break down out of this falling wedge pattern, which it then did, and you can see this tweezer bottom, so it could potentially come back up to this 1566. <laughs> that was a swing trade stock price range last week, and now it's a day trade stock price range. That is that is fabulous. So, uh, let me look at the, oh my goodness, what is this doing? Okay, let me look at the hourly. See, I would not put that on just because there's not enough room for it. Not enough room. I don't want to get you guys stuck in a crappy trade. Let's take a look at Chris. Oh, and see this sort of like cupish pattern with potential resistance around 210. Let me remove this drawing. 210. That's not like, that's only like 15 cents. So that's not a ton of profit. Let me look at this. Oh, you can see a double bottom or a cup and handle and it did break out, but $2 resistance, so I'm not going to put that on. That's just not enough profit potential. 
and that's way too close to the moving averages for me to want to uh uh no in between the moving averages so i'm not gonna put that one on nope that's ugly not putting that one on uh that gap up is not i'm not a fan not a fan so i'm not putting that one on and no, that is really just, I wouldn't put that one on. That would be like one of those pump and dumps that people get in and then it opens down here tomorrow and then they're out a ton of money. So no, no, and let's see, will ears fail us? Huh. Oh, but it hit that resistance and couldn't break it, so I'm not putting that one on. So we're not going to have a huge uh, watch list for tomorrow just because with the, this market indecision, it's all kind of crappy, which sucks for us traders, but hopefully we can make some lemonade out of this lemon that we've got going on. And just as a reminder, you can find our watch list here under the watch list tab. And when you scroll down, it will be updated for tomorrow. And then if you are a member, you can find the trade alerts under the alert section and it will have the thinkorswim link so that you can just input everything right then and there. And uh, if you want to get those trade alerts results, then become a member and you can subscribe over here. And I'm going to end this video since there is nothing left for us to look at. And I hope you guys have a great day tomorrow trading and just be safe.